When INEC released its key findings from the continuous voter registration exercise, a lot of Nigerians, particularly in the southeast and south-south, expressed dissatisfaction with the data. Mostly because applicants from the southeast and south-south accounted for nearly half of the invalid registrations, a striking 49.3% put together. The truth is that INEC is an institution of the Nigerian government, and we know the stand of this government. They are 95% to whatever is it policy. So the truth is that they mentioned that almost 50% of the rejected votes are from south, south, and southeast. I know that these two regions are an anathema in Nigeria. What am I saying? I'm saying that these two regions are already rejected in Nigeria. So why are they? I'm not, if I tell you that I'm surprised of INEC uh, release, I'll be lying to you. Even if all of us line up and do registration, they will always bring a policy that will tell you that uh, eh, the South South and South East has a problem. What do they want? They want us to maintain status quo. That same status quo that has not worked, it's been there since ages, since ages, since Nigeria started in 1960. They have maintained it, it has not worked, it's not working and will not work. The truth is that this country is on a precipice. They have to do something, whatever it is they do, they have to do something and get us back. If their plan is to discourage us or make us uh, disgruntled not to go and vote, they are joking. Tell them they are joking. I look into the camera and tell you how we vote. And all those people that they reject their vote are going to vote and you know where we're going to vote. They just release a voter, whatever, whatever, is very scary and it's so unfortunate. You know, we belong to a country where, you know, the institutions of government, you know, connive with um, whatever institution and then they come up with so many policies that are screwed against some sessions of the, of the, of the polity. It is so unfortunate. So does it mean to say that those people in the north and in other regions where they don't, do not have such figures that they did the voter registration very correctly? And then the rest of us in this part of the world, in this part of the nation, does not know how to do voter registration. It's so unfortunate. As far as I am concerned, those figures are not acceptable to me because, like I said, does it mean that people from this part of the country do not know how to do voter registration? Somebody must have manipulated that, and I say that with every sense of uh, seriousness and modesty. Our vote. In fact, I believe that these plans are part of their ploy to discourage us from voting. But this time around, you know, we've been having this, uh, 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 this impression that our votes do not count. And then it has contributed to a lot of our party that we experienced during, you know, uh, uh, elections. But I tell you, with every sense of seriousness, this time around, no more. We will vote. And then we will be there to make sure that our votes count this time around. I am motivated. I have taken my decision in this forthcoming election, I will vote. And I make sure that everyone around me, in my family, my friends, that they go on that particular day to cast their votes. A public policy analyst, Chima Christian, shared a tweet that read, INEC may have technically tampered with the choice of ordinary Nigerians. We saw that out of the 2.7 something million, okay, call it 2.8 million Nigerians that will not be voting this year, that a huge number of that we are coming from the South, especially the South, South and the Southeast regions. Disqualifying or invalidating a huge chunk of votes from the South, South and the Southeast region, and then that same software is unable to detect fake and multiple and underage registration in the north so it's quite confusing that's why some of us have been calling for an independent multi-stakeholder integrity test on INEX systems the ABIS system the BIVA system and the IRF system so I think uh, 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 political parties and Nigerians alike should call on INEC and impress it on them to subject all their systems and processes to uh, integrity tests. That will give us the, the confidence we need to go into the elections because we don't want to go into the elections with the feeling that uh, something is amiss and then that one particular region is technically centralized over the other. The eternal vigilance is the price for liberty. 
Going forward, what should an ordinary Nigerian do in the electioneering exercise? While Nigeria has made understandable progress since 1999 to date in election management, especially in onboarding technology as a way to manage our elections, Nigerians should not go to home with two eyes closed. You know, because while it is increasingly difficult to rig elections manually these days, by that same token, it is easier to rig elections electronically. So Nigerians should keep their eyes open to make sure that the votes cast during the 2023 elections reflect truly the wishes of Nigeria. This can come from pre-election tamperings as such that we have seen today. So Nigerians at every stage of the election, both before, during and after the election, should keep, keep close our tab on what is happening and ensure that 2023 produce a generally acceptable Result. Our sources say mass card collection will take place at INEC local government offices as Southerners express optimism ahead of the 2023 polls.